Britney Spears reacts to being assaulted by Victor Wembanyama's security team. Taylor Swift releases Speak Now Taylor's version, and Jessica Simpson seemingly shades her ex, Nick Lachey. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your music news today. Taylor Swift has graced us with the release of her version of Speak Now, which features six new songs and even some lyric changes on the original. Yes, I am referring to her iconic Better Than Revenge, which included some controversial lyrics back in the day. When Taylor first released the song, she sang, she's not a saint, she's not what you think, she's an actress, but she's better known for the things that she does on the mattress. However, in this new re-recorded version, the lyric now says she's an actress, he was a moth to the flame, and she was holding the matches. The song was written following Taylor's breakup from Joe Jonas back in 2008. After the split, he began dating actress Camilla Bell, and the song has long been speculated to be about her. I might still sing it the original way though. Do you guys have a new song that's your favorite from the vault? Let us know. Drake seems to be pretty excited about Taylor's version of Speak Now as well, as the rapper shared his congrats to the singer on his Instagram stories. However, fans are scratching their heads because Champagne Poppy posted a photo with a Taylor Swift lookalike instead of the real deal. Nonetheless, he wrote on the pic, congrats on the drop, sis, dialed in. Do we think he knows? Jessica Simpson seemed to take a swipe at her ex-husband, Nick Lachey, in a new interview with Bustle when asked about her rumored romance with Mark Wahlberg. The outlet asked the I Think I'm In Love With You singer about an alleged past romance with a famous and religious movie star who had a girlfriend at the time and made Jessica feel like a call girl, referring to an essay that she published as a supplement to her 2020 memoir, Open Book. When the outlet name dropped Mark Wahlberg, she simply laughed and declined to identify the man she had the alleged relationship with, saying, there's a lot of Catholics out there. Additionally, Jessica was asked by Bustle about the public's favorable impression of her ex, Lachey, during their short-lived reality TV show. To that, she replied, it's amazing what publicity can do, seemingly shading the love is blind host. One point for Simpson. Now, Britney Spears and her husband, Sam Asghari, have broken their silence surrounding the report that a member of San Antonio Spurs player, Victor Wembanyama's security team, slapped Britney when she approached him for a photo. First, Sam shared, I'm opposed to violence in any form, especially without justification in the defense of yourself or someone else who is unable to defend themselves. Self-defense can be unavoidable, but the defense of any woman, especially my wife, is not debatable. He concluded, I consider my reaction subdued considering what occurred and I hope the man in question learns a lesson and changes his disregard for women. Now it's unclear how Sam reacted to his wife being allegedly backhanded by a massive security guard, but he was present for the altercation, which took place at Catch Restaurant in the Ario Hotel in Las Vegas. Later, Britney took to Instagram to share a long statement in which she demanded an apology during what she called an embarrassing and traumatic ordeal. The toxic singer wrote, traumatic experiences are not new to me and I have had my fair share of them. I was not prepared for what happened to me last night. I recognized an athlete in my hotel and saw him again. I decided to approach him and congratulate him on his success. It was really loud, so I tapped him on the shoulder to get his attention. Brittany continued, I am aware of the player's statement where he mentions I grabbed him from behind, but I simply tapped him on the shoulder. His security then backhanded me in the face without looking back in front of a crowd, nearly knocking me down and causing my glasses off my face. I get swarmed all the time by people. In fact, that night I was swarmed by a group of at least 20 fans. My security team didn't hit any of them. Brittany continued, admitting that the story is super embarrassing to share with the world. She wrote, I think it's important to share this story and to urge people in the public eye to set an example and treat all people with respect, before revealing that she's yet to receive an apology from Victor, his security team, or his organization. She certainly deserves one. You guys can get more on these stories through the links down below, and be sure to hit that sub, like, and bell button for more news on your favorite celebs. Bye, guys.